Manholes, we don't think much of them unless a gas line breaks or a sewer backs up. Yeah, often they're placed in the exact spot we're driving. And that has Joe from Maple Grove wanting to know, why are manholes in the middle of the street? Good question. Heather Brown found the answer underground. Happens all the time. You're driving down the street and then, boom. I'm pretty sure every time someone drives over a manhole, they email us wanting to know, why the heck are these things in the middle of the street? That's a good question, Heather. <laughs> Jim Westerman is Woodbury's utility superintendent. And this applies to almost all municipalities uh, across the world, for that matter. Mm -hmm. To answer this one, we need to know what's under the road where the city has the right of way. I don't see any alligators down there. The cameras Woodbury uses to monitor its sewer lines give us a glimpse. There are water lines, utilities, stormwater mains, and the sanitary sewer line that runs right down the middle of the street. There is uh, equity in putting it in the middle of the street. The city owns the sewer line but the residents are responsible for the connection from the line to their home. And so we're splitting the difference essentially between those customers. Then they need to consider the equipment necessary to clear out the sewers. It wouldn't fit on the sidewalk. And folks probably don't want this truck on their yard. Yes, that would probably be problematic. They try to keep the manholes in the middle because fewer people drive there. But sometimes you'll see them on the side. Those are the stormwater sewer lines, which you obviously want separate from the sanitary ones. We have to strike a balance between all the other utilities that are in the street. There's a lot going on underneath here that a lot of people don't know much about. Yes, definitely. There's a lot going on underneath our feet. You just don't think about it on a daily basis, but you certainly know when it's not working. Heather Brown. Very good point. WCCO 4 News. The manholes are supposed to be flush with the roads, but as you know, the Minnesota freeze-thaw cycles are not kind to the covers in the streets. And most cities have programs that repair manholes that have risen or sunk. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com links.